Today we're going to service a Walt Disney production Mickey Mouse clock made by Bradley in the 70s. Alarm clock. First thing we do is remove the spring winders. Take them out. Put them aside. Goes that way. On this model, the pull knobs stay in place and they pull in through the back of the case. Now we'll remove the alarm, take the pieces out, put them away. Over there. And the cup bells will come out. We remove the face of the clock by very carefully inserting a screwdriver into the slot here and turning it to get a bit of a start on the case. Then we can very carefully prise it open a little bit on each side it's still pretty tight to be careful of the the paint we don't want to damage the paint Gradually getting there, but it's still very tight. Very carefully, so as not to damage the paint. It's almost there. Man, that sits in there tightly. A little bit over this side, we should be about right. Just about there. Screwdriver back in the slot once again. It's moving more freely now. There we go. Ah, finally got it. The bezel's off now. We take the plastic cover off, place it to one side. Now, we can now remove the clock by dropping it forward. That one, that one, and there we got it. Top one, that's the one. Okay, out it comes. Put the case aside. That's the movement. That's the face. Okay, let's remove the hands first. Using a hand puller, being careful not to touch the paper face of the clock. Remove the minute hand, 
we'll use a different hand puller to pull the hour hand off. Set it up underneath and then slowly turn the knob at the top which will lift up the hour hand and remove it without touching the dial. There we go. Next we'll remove the animated part of the clock using a pair of long nose smooth jaw pliers. There we go. Here he comes. Put, we'll put that aside. Now we're going to remove the movement from the face of the clock. It's held on by four little bent over levers here that will gently lever up so we can get a pair of pliers underneath them to straighten them to remove the face. Three. There's the fourth one. Okay, let's straighten those out. What? Two. Be the third one. Straight out. And the fourth one. The face will now drop straight off easily. There we go. the movement over there. While we've got the face off, we'll straighten each one of these so that the face will slide straight back onto the movement when we put it back together again. Put that aside over there. Now we'll remove that little spring washer. Put it aside. And the wheel underneath it. Now we'll have a look at the movement. Could do with a clean, that's for sure. This movement is riveted, as you can see. I'll turn it over. It's riveted together. So we're not going to be able to take it to pieces and clean each individual wheel so we will have to clean the whole lot in one piece. Then we'll check it, then we'll oil it. So first up, we'll clean the movement. To clean the movement, We'll put it in an ultrasonic bath for five minutes, then take it out and see what it looks like. 
could do with a bit of a clean there's some gunk in there for sure okay we'll put that movement into the ultrasonic bath let it run for five minutes and see how that cleans it up okay the ultrasonic is finished so let's take out our movement we'll head outside and clean it up well here we are ready to finish the clean up we'll fill this dish full of water then we'll put the ultrasonic basket with the movement in it over here and fill it with water Up and switch it round. Then we remove the movement. Looks a hell of a lot cleaner. Put it in the water over there. Let it sit for a minute. Now we'll take the movement out of the water. Quick little shake. Place it into a tub of shellite. Move it round a little bit. The shellite will displace the water. Now remove the movement from the shellite. Place it on a clean rag to let it dry. Now for the final part using a hair dryer on low turn it on and dry off the remaining shellite on the movement Okay, back to the bench. Well, we're back at the bench again after cleaning the movement. Now, first thing we'll do, having looked at the movement, it's certainly a lot cleaner than it was before we put it through the ultrasonic. Now, first thing we do is we'll oil the movement. clock oil now we're using an oiler we'll oil every pivot on the clock movement just a small drop of oil on each and a bit extra Around the winding arbors for the springs. Another one there, and a couple round the alarm winding arbor. Another one there for the alarm mechanism and that has done all that side. We'll come back and oil the spring in a moment. Flip the movement over, lie it down again and then we'll oil that's the shaft that runs the animated part of the clock another one there that pivot that one not very much we'll give him a double up that one
wheel mark. Wheel oil, the cannon armor. Another pinion there. That one. Two on this one. It's a larger. That's for the alarm. We'll put two drops on the top of this wheel here. We've got. I think we missed this one here. I think. Got him now. Okay, balance wheel. For this, we've got to get inside to oil it. There. and that end of the balance staff now we'll check the end play and that is wobbling all over the place that needs to be tightened down a little bit at a time could be a little bit more yet Tiny little bit too tight. Back it off a little bit. About halfway to where it was. Check the play again. And start it off. There we go. Now, a little bit of oil. Up the shaft here. Then we'll set that wheel back on and get it to mesh. Now we'll oil the springs. Springs are normally oiled with silicon grease, but because this movement is riveted down we'll have to use some clock oil to lubricate the spring couple of drops either side and Now, a couple of drops of oil on the alarm winding mechanism to free it up. That's better. And also on the hand winding mechanism we'll put a drop. One inside also. That 
a lot freer.